We are at the Pennypack Ecological Land Trust, Pennsylvania. Today we are setting up part of an experiment where we're studying management of beech leaf disease on a larger scale. Previously, we focused on management of a specimen tree in a landscape setting, and we found some good management tools for those trees. In a forest setting, it's very difficult to treat every single tree uh, on a scale that's grand like acres and acres of forest. Beech leaf disease uh, is an emerging threat to the American beech forest. The American beech and European beech uh, have no innate immunity to this. It's spread now to 14, 15 states um, and into Canada and Ontario. So beech leaf disease causes symptoms where if you look through to the light, you'll see these distinctive banding patterns uh, between the leaf veins. And then over time, the disease will cause distorted, malformed leaves that are almost leathery in texture. And eventually, uh, buds will fail to leaf out. They'll abort, and then the canopies will start to thin. One of the things um, that we borrow from traditional forestry practices is called crown release. And so in crown release, you're separating the crowns of trees and you're opening up more light exposure so that tree can then form more photosynthetic machinery, which are leaves, um, and grow at a faster clip. And so can we take that and apply it to just making these beech trees in a forest more resilient? So while the disease can still come in and impact these trees, the trees will be able to deal with it a little bit better. In addition to the crown release, we're doing selective removals of understory and midstory. The progression of this disease happens from the bottom up. So if we remove some of these trees, in addition to the releasing the crowns through selective pruning, we can remove physically the inoculum source for this disease. And we'll track that and be able to test that to determine, if, is this a ecologically sound and economically uh, viable option to create a more resilient forest uh, related to beech leaf disease? If we find that our treatments are effective in slowing down this disease, this becomes a plug and play management strategy for landowners, government agencies, National Park Service for trying to preserve the American beach canopy as well as just preserving the forest at large.